Hey guys, Brett and Eric here with Living the Hard Life coming to you today with another video. What's up guys? In this one, we're actually outside. It's a great day. And for this one, we have a lower body dumbbell workout for you guys. Uh, something you can do with minimal equipment anywhere. Like I said, we're outside. You can do it in the gym, wherever. So if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and hop into it. Hey guys, so we know this past year has been extremely tough sticking to a diet, uh, an exercise plan uh, through the quarantine. And this workout helps a lot because you can do it anywhere, anytime with minimal equipment. Yeah guys, so you know, like you said, you know, this quarantine, this pandemic for the past year has been really rough on everybody. If you're someone like me who was going to the gym and then, you know, gyms have been shut down, then they're open again, now they're shut down again, you know, wherever you may be, we've had different things with, with the gyms. But, um, you know, if you're someone like me who was just looking to stay in shape at home and you tried to figure something out, maybe you just don't feel comfortable going to the gym or maybe you're just looking to save some money on a gym membership and just do things at home. Like he said, minimal equipment, you can do them anywhere. We're outside today, like we said, it's a great day. So we're gonna be doing this workout outside. And another tip here, if you're someone like me with two young kids, you know, you're looking to find time anywhere you can to work out in between naps or whatever, you can work out with them outside. This is real quick, real easy. And so let's go ahead and show you guys what we're working with. Hey guys, so the first workout we're gonna cover today is the basic step up. Real easy movement, self-explanatory. All you need is a step or an elevated surface that's stable enough to hold your weight. The movement, very simple. Firmly plant your front foot. As you step up, drive your opposite knee forward. You really feel the engagement of your glute and your hamstring. Hold for a second. Come back down to your starting position. We do this about 10 reps with each leg for three to four sets. Right, guys our next exercise here is going to be a unilateral Romanian deadlift RDL okay uh, this exercise you know we've been talking a lot about and these are really important your big compound movements that really work with a lot of strength and power but these smaller exercises that maybe work on just one or two muscles really help with a lot of stability and balance and they're just as important because if you don't work those smaller muscles that work with the stability and the stabilizing of those major joints and major muscles you can have a lot of injury risk so this one is going to be really helpful for working on a lot of the balance and stabilization here. So when you do a unilateral or RDL, you're only working on one side at a time, okay? And you wanna go lightweight. You can obviously progressively overload with this, but you wanna go lightweight. You're more focusing on the movement and the contraction. And you're going to hold the weight in the side that your leg is planting on, okay? And all it is, you're gonna keep your back nice and flat, and you're going to take your off leg and rotate it backwards as you bring the weight forwards, okay? So it'll look something like this. And when you come up, you just push your knee up, really contract the glute at the top and squeeze, and go on back down, okay? And so you guys can see that this is really going to work on balance on that leg that you're really working on, the, weight, the one that's bearing the weight here. And you can do this both sides. You wanna do this both sides, 10 to 15, you know, find your rep range, but again, really good exercise for stability and balance. Hey guys, this exercise is gonna be the Bulgarian split squat. Another one that's really focusing on a lot of stabilization, of those smaller muscles and working on some balance, but this can also be used to progressively overload and build a lot of power and strength in the lower body, okay? Um, so if you've noticed, a lot of these exercises we're, doing, uh, exercises we're doing, don't just really focus on one muscle group. A lot of ours are compound movements because we like to work mo a lot of muscles at one time. You know, you can obviously focus in on uh, just one muscle at a time and really, you know, um, identify that and kind of pinpoint it, but. We like to work on you know multiple muscle groups because that's really how you function okay your, your body's always functioning as a whole so um 
Bulgarian split squat. So it's pretty much how it sounds. It's split squat. So all you need is an elevated surface to prop your leg and obviously a surface below. So you're gonna put your leg up on the elevated surface. Again, find a comfortable spot where you're going to be lunging or squatting out. Okay, find your range of motion, whatever's best. You can do these weighted or just body weight. And all you're going to do is basically do a lunge. You're going to basically fall into a lunge as you have that leg elevated. So all you're doing is coming down and up, contracting, squeezing at the top, get a nice range of motion, okay? And you'll, again, do 10, 12, 15, whatever your rep range will be on both sides. So the next workout we're going to cover is the sumo deadlift. Uh, we're going to be performing this with the dumbbell today. Uh, it's a little bit different than your conventional deadlift. You're going to have a, a slightly wider stance with your hands actually inside of your legs opposed to outside. You're going to start by placing your feet firmly on the ground just outside the shoulder width. As you grab the dumbbell, you're going to make sure that your back is very straight and you engage your lats to keep a nice tight core and you're going to pull the dumbbell straight up as you do this make sure that you're squeezing your glutes up at the top it's going to give you a nice feeling in your glutes in your hip flexors as well as your hamstrings and your quads so again another great full body workout with a focus on your lower body Guys, our next workout is going to be a dumbbell goblet squat. Uh, it's a great compound movement for the lower body. It's just like a lot of the other squats. It's going to work the same muscles, hamstrings, quads, glutes, hip flexors, calves. I mean, it's going to be a whole full lower body movement here. And uh, again, it's nice because you can do it with a dumbbell. You can still get that nice heavy movement as you do it. So the setup is pretty much the same as any other squat, guys. You're going to set up feet about shoulder width apart. Find what works best for you, what's comfortable. But again, about shoulder width. You're actually gonna hold the weight in here and I'll show you how here in a little bit. You're gonna hold the weight in here and you're going to keep everything nice and tight, slowly controlled, go all the way down, come back up, okay? Slowly controlled on the way down as far as you can, back up and squeeze at the top. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and, and you can take some of these tips and tricks, these exercises with you to build your new lower body plan. Uh, again, whether you're limited on time, you have limited equipment, or you just don't really feel like going to the gym and you wanna just use what you have at your disposal, this can be really great for you. So hopefully that helped you guys out. As always, from Eric and Brett here, Living the Hard Life, we appreciate you. Go ahead and give us a comment. Let us know how this worked out for you. Let us know if you have any questions. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Follow us on social media, at Living the Hard Life, and we'll see you guys next time.